the Mysore Bonda, take 2 cups of Maida or All Purpose Flour, quarter cup rice flour, quarter teaspoon cooking soda, add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of salt, mix everything. To this add half cup curd, pour water as required to get a nice dropping consistency. To mix everything, make sure the batter is a nice thick dropping consistency. In case you've added too much water or curd and it's diluted, just add a little more maida and rice flour. To the batter, add one onion finely chopped, two green chilies finely chopped, a piece of ginger finely chopped. A few curry leaves, finely chopped, and a few coriander leaves chopped. Mix everything till it's all well combined. And now the bonda batter is ready. Pour some oil in a kadai. Make sure the oil is nice and hot. The oil is nice and hot. I'm going to start adding the batter little at a time. So Mysore Bondas are a recipe that you can quickly whip up and make it in minutes unlike the other Bondas or the Vadas where you have to grind the batter and you can enjoy this with some nice chutney or pickle by the side. The greens I've used in this recipe is Amaranth. In Tamil we call this Arakire. I've used half bunch of this specific greens just take the leaves and discard the stalk. Take the chopped greens into a bowl. To this add 2 cups of basin or gram flour. To this add 1 teaspoon of salt, 2 teaspoons of chilli powder, add some chopped green chilies, add some finely chopped ginger, add 1 small onion finely chopped. Add enough water to get the right consistency for the batter. After mixing all the ingredients, if you need more basin, you can add to get the right consistency for the batter. The bonda batter is ready. I'm just going to add a pinch of cooking soda before I make the bondas. Just mix it all in. The bonda batter should be a little thick and a nice dropping consistency. The oil is hot now. Let's start making the bondas. You can use your hand to drop the batter into the oil. Be careful while dropping the bonda batter into the oil. Keep the flame on medium low and start frying the bondas. Make sure you turn them at intervals so they are cooked through on all sides. Once you get a nice golden brown colour on all sides, remove it from the oil. There you go, enjoy this lovely Kira Bonda with some nice fresh coconut chutney. Now you can use any greens for this recipe, there's nothing in particular that you should use. So enjoy the recipe with some nice tea or coffee.
for the aloo bonda first we are going to make the aloo masala or the potato masala for this take a pan add a little oil to this add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds a teaspoon of cumin seeds once the mustard seeds start splattering add one onion finely chopped three green chilies chopped a piece of ginger finely chopped next add quarter teaspoon turmeric powder one teaspoon salt saute the onions for few minutes I have about 5 medium sized potatoes that have been boiled and mashed. Add them. If the potato pieces are large, you can just mash it a little bit. Turn off the stove. Add some chopped fresh coriander leaves. Give it a quick mix. Cool the potato mixture. Next I'm going to make the batter for the bondas. For this you would need 1 cup of besan or gram flour, 1 tablespoon rice flour, salt, 1 teaspoon chili powder, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. Mix everything together. Now gradually pour water to get a nice thick batter. So make sure you get a nice thick batter to coat the masala. The alu masala has cooled on completely. Now I'm going to start making the bondas. So just take a little bit of the filling, roll it to your desired size. Now dip the filling into the batter. Make sure it's well coated and gently drop it into the hot oil. The bondas are a nice golden brown color. Remove from the oil and serve it hot. So there you go. You can enjoy this delicious and simple aloo bonda with some nice coconut chutney or pickle of your choice. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on Twenty One Friends.